There once was a girl named Ashley, who just so happened to be an astronaut. Ashley loved her job, exploring and studying space. She also loved to learn. She liked to be educated. There was one thing young Ashley didn't know much about, black holes, and this bothered her. She wanted to get more information about black holes, but she wasn't just going to look up what is a black hole on the internet. Ashley was one for adventure, extreme adventure. She wanted to see for herself the effects that black holes have on nearby stars, not with a telescope or a video recording in space. Ashley wanted to travel to a black hole. It would be a very dangerous journey, considering the consequences of getting too close, but Ashley was willing to risk her life to take the opportunity and experience the effects of a black hole. And so her journey begins, and you, yes you, will join her. She must know what she is getting herself into, and before the story goes on, so must you. Let's start with a simple question. What is a black hole? To start off, black holes aren't really holes at all. They are the opposite of empty, but that's a whole nother story. A black hole is a place in space that has such strong gravitational effects that not even light can escape. This is the reason black holes are invisible to the naked eye, because there is no light escaping from the black holes you can't see them, since they are black. The gravitational effects of a black hole are so strong because the matter has been forced into such a small space. This can happen as a star is dying. The boundary in a black hole where no light can escape is called the event horizon. The event horizon of a black hole is always circular. Scientists call this point an event horizon because if an event were to happen on one side of the horizon, someone on the other side would not be able to see it. Once an object reaches a certain point near the event horizon, there is no escape because no gravitational paths lead outside of the event horizon. Objects whose gravitational fields are so strong that not even light can escape were first considered to be real in the 18th century by John Mitchell and Pierre Simon Laplace. Carl Schwarzschild was the first to consider black holes in 1916. However, the currently used definition of black holes was first founded in 1958 by David Finkelstein. It was in the late 1960s that the discovery of neutron stars sparked interest in gravitationally collapsed objects. This was when many scientists realized black holes could be a reality. Black holes cannot be seen because strong gravity pulls all the light towards the center of the black hole. How do you know something is there if you can't see it? By observing the effects that it has on nearby objects. By looking at nearby stars and gas, scientists know that black holes exist because of the strange things that happen to these objects. When studying stars, scientists can tell if they are orbiting or flying around a black hole. Also, by using high-tech satellites and telescopes, scientists can see high-energy light produced when a star and black hole are near each other. Black holes come in many different sizes. They can be big or small. Scientists think the smallest black holes are as small as just one tiny atom. Although these black holes may be small, they have the mass of a large mountain. The mass of an object is the amount of matter or stuff inside the object. Some black holes are called stellar black holes. The mass of stellar black holes can be up to 20 times the mass of our sun. Scientists believe that there may be many stellar black holes in our galaxy, the Milky Way. The largest black holes are called supermassive black holes. These black holes have masses more than a million times our sun. Every large galaxy, like ours, the Milky Way, has a supermassive black hole in the center. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy is called Sagittarius A. This black hole has a mass about four million times our sun and would fit inside a very large ball that could hold a few million Earths inside. Many interesting things happen when getting too close to a black hole. One of these things is called gravitational time dilation. If you were watching someone fall into a black hole, it would look as if they were moving slower and slower the closer they got. This would make it seem like an infinite time before the person falling in actually reached the black hole. It would also seem as if the person falling in is getting redder and dimmer. This is called gravitational redshift. Eventually, you would see the person slowly fade away and disappear into the black hole. On the other hand, if you were the person falling into the black hole, you wouldn't notice any of these things, and it would feel like not even a second before you disappeared into the black hole. Scientists think the smallest black holes form when the universe began. Stellar black holes form when the center of a very big star collapses or falls in upon itself. When this happens, it causes a supernova. A supernova is an exploding star. 
Some black holes are formed by stars that you can't see or that are invisible. Scientists think supermassive black holes formed at the same time as the galaxy they are in formed. Now that you are educated, you can go on your journey to a black hole. May I remind you once more that you must be careful, be safe, and have fun. Take advantage of this opportunity. It is indeed a once-in-a-lifetime experience.